WWE Diva Page and Finn K. Alberto Del Rio kept fans guessing as to whether they had Tiber, not with cryptic Instagram posts on their wedding day. The pair revealed they would marry on Wednesday just weeks after a sex tape appearing to show Page with two male wrestlers was leaked. Former heavyweight champion Del Rio now known as El Patron Alberto, since leaving the company, vowed to stand by his partner despite the high-profile leak. The 39-year-old posted a picture of the couple and said, It doesn't matter how many times you try to break us is not gonna happen. We were harassed by a company we still are cause you don't fool me ms, I know it was you trying to destroy us destroy my baby. She's better, stronger than all of you. We are getting married Wednesday. Have a nice and go and F yourself haters. Both Paige and Del Rio posted on Instagram on their expected wedding day, although neither appeared to make any reference to the anticipated nuptials. Paige shared a side-by-side -side snap of the pair kissing and posing in a mirror with the caption, Fun with my love. Feeling happy and healthy. She was seen sporting a huge ring, although it is unclear whether she had added a wedding band to her bling. Her beau later shared a video ringside at a wrestling match, adding, What a crowd at MP Riolacha one of my favorites of all time, six and a half hours, that were sat in those seats and they were still crazy to see me. Wow. This is why I love wrestling. I hate the outside politics, but you can't take away the feeling and love you have when you're inside that ring entertaining fans like this. Thank you Peru. Paige has hit back at internet trolls and has revealed there have been days where she wanted to physically harm herself. Her mother Saraya hit out at the trolls last week and now Paige herself has sent a defiant message. The two-time Divas champion confirmed she had been the victim of a hack earlier this month. In a statement on Twitter, Paige wrote, I made a big mistake. Huge. I put trust in the hands of someone that took advantage of a young girl years ago. It was my mistake and I'll always take responsibility. But the one thing that was the hardest was thinking my husband's gonna leave me, my family will disown me, but I'm blessed beyond words to have a family and a husband that stuck by me because they know who I am. They know I'm not a bad person and they held my hands through hell. Because as my husband says you may feel like the devil is throwing you into a storm, but just remember you are the storm. And he's right. But we are human. Unfortunately people don't see it that way when they are behind a keyboard. They don't think that we have feelings or that we don't suffer. Not only was I a victim of viral humiliation, but a victim of cyberbullying. I had days where I wanted to physically harm myself. Not only for what millions was telling me, but because my family and my husband were suffering the same fate from the internet because of my mistake. It made me and Alberto wonder how people who aren't as mentally strong as us can handle this? How many people have to suffer because of the internet and the cowards behind the keyboard? Or how many men and women have fell into the same trap as me and made those mistakes? That's why we are taking this massive negative and making some kind of positive. We wanna bring those people to justice and also take down the ones who are trolls with the lack of a better term. Bring awareness. Bring help to those who don't have the tools or the mental strength to do this themselves. To show men and women alike to always think about their future before they do something that may cause a butterfly effect later in life. Now I know through all of this. No one will make me feel bad about my mistakes, I already know what they are already, and I already feel bad. But Alberto and I together can also make a change. My mistake could help people's futures. Think before you act. Anyways. Onwards and upwards. Only happiness. No longer talking about anything. Just looking into the future and being happy. I mean come on, I'm getting married. How can I not be happy?